the hydrogen revolution might have just found its most unexpected hero, the 3D printer. In labs and factories around the world, engineers are beginning to print what used to take months to machine. The heart of a green hydrogen plant, the electrolyzer. What began as an experiment is now becoming a manufacturing breakthrough that could change everything we know about clean energy. Because if you can print an electrolyzer, you can build a hydrogen future faster, cheaper, and almost anywhere on Earth. The promise of hydrogen has always been simple. Unlimited clean fuel made from water and renewable power. But the reality? It's been stuck behind the high cost of electrolyzers, the machines that split water into hydrogen and oxygen. These stacks are complex, delicate, and expensive to build. They require rare materials, precision machining, and long lead times. A single electrolyzer stack can contain hundreds of bipolar plates, flow channels, and seals, each one machined from titanium or coated stainless steel. The process is slow, the materials are costly, and global demand is exploding. That's where 3D printing enters the story. Also known as additive manufacturing, it's the process of creating components layer by layer, not by cutting or drilling, but by building. And now researchers have shown that this same method can be used to make the key components of an electrolyzer. Lighter, cheaper, and faster than ever before. It started with a quiet paper from the University of Glasgow in 2014. Professor Leroy Cronin and his team had a simple question. Could you print an electrolyzer instead of machining one? Using an affordable 3D printer and some clever chemistry, they created flow plates the parts that guide water and gas inside the electrolyzer, from polypropylene plastic, coated them with silver for conductivity, and assembled a fully working PM electrolyzer. The entire device cost a fraction of a conventional build and weighed four times less. Each 3D printed flow plate used just 17 cents worth of material compared to 80 cents for machine titanium. It wasn't perfect, but it proved something revolutionary. Electrolyzers could be printed, not just machined. The implications were enormous. By freeing hydrogen manufacturing from heavy machining, you could shorten supply chains, build parts locally, and experiment with designs that traditional manufacturing simply can't make. Complex internal flow paths, optimized manifolds, integrated cooling channels, all possible with 3D printing. What used to take weeks to machine could be printed overnight. In the years since, the research has accelerated. A 2025 review by Khan et al. in International Journal of Hydrogen Energy pulled together more than 100 studies on additive manufacturing for electrolysis. Their conclusion was jaw-dropping. 3D printed electrodes showed 27% higher hydrogen evolution efficiency, and 3D printed flow plates boosted power output by 57% compared with traditional designs. In plain terms, that's a leap in both performance and cost-effectiveness, the two pillars holding back the hydrogen economy. Other labs are joining the race. At Stanford University, researchers combined stereolithography with electroless plating to produce lab-scale electrolyzers whose printed plastic parts were later coated in conductive metal. The result? Comparable performance to machined titanium components, but built in days instead of months. Their work proved that design iteration and electrolysis can move as fast as software development. You can print, test, tweak, and print again, all within a week. In the traditional world of precision machining, that kind of speed is unheard of. This shift from subtractive to additive manufacturing could mark a turning point for the green hydrogen industry. Today, electrolyzers are one of the most expensive pieces of the hydrogen value chain. Depending on configuration, stack costs can reach up to $400 per kilowatt. For hydrogen to hit $2 per kilogram, the holy grail of cost competitiveness, that figure must be cut nearly in half. Additive manufacturing is one of the few pathways that can realistically achieve that. But it's not just about price, it's about freedom. Imagine a world where hydrogen developers in Kenya, Chile, or India can print electrolyzer components locally instead of importing them from Europe or China. No waiting for shipments, no customs delays, no bottlenecks. Local manufacturing means local jobs, faster deployment, and reduced dependence on global supply chains. 
That's what 3D printing can offer. Decentralization of hydrogen technology. Companies are taking notice. In Germany, Exentis Group is producing stainless steel flow plates using additive screen printing. Each plate contains microchannels just 125 microns wide, thinner than a human hair, printed at industrial speed. One printer can produce more than 1,000 plates per day. That's not a prototype scale. That's mass manufacturing. By merging precision engineering with additive methods, Exentis is demonstrating how electrolyzer components can finally scale to meet the gigawatt demand now sweeping the market. Meanwhile, traditional flow plate manufacturers such as Switzer Manufacturing in the United States and Eisenhuth GmbH and Co. KG in Germany are exploring how additive methods can integrate with their precision machining expertise. Switzer already builds intricate metal flow fields for hydrogen generation and purification systems. Additive manufacturing could be their next step. Eisenhuth, long known for fuel cell plates, has begun supplying electrolyzer components and could pivot to additive designs in the coming years. These established firms provide the bridge between the research labs and industrial production. But the story doesn't stop at flow plates. 3D printing is also enabling new designs for electrodes, gas diffusion layers, and even entire stack housings. Scientists are experimenting with lattice structures that improve water and gas transport, or porous metallic scaffolds that increase reaction surface area. A recent scientific reports paper showed that 3D printed electrode structures could reduce power losses by 16% through optimized internal geometry. These are the small engineering improvements that, when multiplied across thousands of stacks, drive massive reductions in hydrogen cost. And the beauty of additive manufacturing is customization. Traditional electrolyzer designs are standardized because machining custom parts is expensive. With 3D printing, customization becomes free. A developer building a high-pressure electrolyzer in Australia can tweak flow channels for different cooling behavior. A project in the Middle East can adjust manifolds for saltwater pretreatment integration. Each unit can be tailored to local conditions without retooling an entire factory. Let's take a step back and see how this ties into the broader green hydrogen economy. The last decade saw renewable electricity costs plummet thanks to manufacturing innovation. Solar panels and wind turbines became cheap because they were mass-produced efficiently. Hydrogen hasn't had its manufacturing revolution yet. Electrolyzers are still built more like aircraft engines than consumer electronics, one at a time by skilled technicians. Additive manufacturing could change that by introducing automation, repeatability, and digital control to every step of the process. And that's exactly what companies like Siemens Energy and Electric Hydrogen are now focusing on. Siemens has opened a multi-gigawatt electrolyzer factory in Berlin, designed for scale and automation. Electric Hydrogen, a U.S. startup backed by major investors, is building a 1.2 gigawatts per year gigafactory. While they haven't publicly confirmed 3D printing for their stacks, industry watchers expect additive manufacturing to become part of their process soon. The economics make sense. As demand for electrolyzer skyrockets, manufacturers need flexible, high-throughput methods that don't depend on scarce materials or manual machining. The implications are enormous. If 3D printed components can reduce stack costs by even 20%, that alone could shave 5 to 10 cents off each kilogram of hydrogen produced. Combine that with ongoing declines in renewable energy prices and efficiency improvements, and $2 hydrogen becomes achievable before 2030. Add to that the potential for lighter, more compact stacks, reducing shipping and installation costs, and you begin to see how printing might compress the entire hydrogen supply chain. Still, there are challenges. Printed polymers and coatings must withstand the harsh electrochemical environment of an electrolyzer, high temperatures, pressures, and corrosive oxygen. In the Glasgow experiments, silver coatings oxidized after 96 hours of testing, showing that durability is not yet solved. For commercial success, these materials will need lifetimes of tens of thousands of hours. Researchers are already addressing this with conductive carbon composites, nickel coatings, and sintered metal powders that resist corrosion. Each iteration brings the technology closer to industrial reality. Another challenge is quality control. When you're printing hundreds of precision components, 
small variations can add up. A microscopic defect in a flow channel might cause uneven gas flow or localized overheating. That's why the next frontier of 3D printed electrolyzers will include machine learning based quality inspection. Cameras and sensors that verify every layer as it's printed. It's the same technology already used in aerospace 3D printing, now being applied to clean energy. But here's where the opportunity gets exciting. Additive manufacturing doesn't just replicate old designs, it creates entirely new ones. Engineers can now use computational fluid dynamics and generative AI to design internal geometries that were impossible to machine. They can optimize gas diffusion, minimize pressure drop, and distribute current density evenly across the plate. The result? Electrolyzers that are smaller, faster, and more efficient, not just cheaper. Imagine a printed flow plate with a branching network of channels shaped like the veins of a leaf, perfectly tuned for water and gas movement. That's not science fiction. Those designs are already being simulated in labs today. This convergence of AI-driven design and 3D printing could be the hidden multiplier for the hydrogen economy. In a few years, we might see autonomous design software generating electrolyzer components optimized for each location's temperature, altitude, and water chemistry, and local 3D printers producing them on demand. The electrolyzer of the future could be both smart and local, eliminating the need for long supply chains altogether. Let's make this real with a few scenarios. Picture a solar hydrogen plant in the Sahara. Instead of importing stacks from Europe, it operates a small additive manufacturing unit on site. Using local feedstock powders and AI-generated designs, it prints flow plates perfectly adapted to desert conditions, high temperature, fine dust, and dry air. Maintenance crews print replacement parts overnight instead of waiting months for shipping. The plant runs continuously with minimal downtime. Now, picture a port city in Southeast Asia, where green hydrogen is used for ammonia production. The factory uses locally printed electrolyzer components optimized for high humidity and marine air corrosion. Every six months, the design is updated digitally and new plates are printed with improved performance metrics. The entire hydrogen system becomes a living, evolving machine, not static hardware. These are the possibilities that make 3D printed electrolyzers so compelling. They represent a shift from centralized, slow manufacturing to distributed, adaptive production. It's the same transformation that software brought to computing and but now applied to energy infrastructure. And this isn't just a technical story, it's an economic and geopolitical one. Countries that adopt additive manufacturing early could gain a massive competitive edge in hydrogen production. They won't have to rely on imported stacks or rare materials. They'll own the means of production, literally. That could democratize the hydrogen economy, spreading opportunity beyond the handful of nations that currently dominate the electrolyzer supply chain. So, will 3D printing really change everything? Maybe not overnight, but the direction is clear. Just as printing transformed aerospace, medicine, and construction, it's now poised to revolutionize clean energy. The early results are promising. Lighter, cheaper, more efficient electrolyzers built faster and closer to where they're needed. The next few years will determine whether this technology remains a niche or becomes the new standard for hydrogen manufacturing. For developers, investors, and policymakers watching this space, the message is simple. Watch the manufacturing frontier. The next great leap in hydrogen economics won't come from chemistry alone. It will come from how we build. At ReneEnergy.com and H2Hub, ReneEnergy.com, we're tracking this transformation in real time. From additive manufacturing breakthroughs to the financial models that will define project success. If you're developing or financing hydrogen projects, you need to understand how these innovations reshape costs, risks, and timelines. We provide feasibility templates, project finance models, and insight into the evolving ecosystem of electrolyzer technology. Visit HTTPS h2hub.reneenergy.com to explore the tools and training that help you stay ahead in the hydrogen economy. The $2 hydrogen era is closer than it looks, and the future electrolyzer may not roll off an assembly line at all. It may emerge layer by layer from a 3D printer. 
The machines that make hydrogen are evolving, and those who understand this shift will lead the next industrial revolution. This is how innovation accelerates energy transformation, not through waiting for breakthroughs, but by printing them.